Alright, what's up Matthias Scouts? It's me, Wolfgong 3, much like Wolfgong 1 or 2, except cooler... <laughs> Roasted. Anyway, today we're going to be playing Undertale. This game has been very popular recently, and I'm not sure why. It doesn't look like anything special. I mean, you know, it looks alright, but like, I, I don't know. So we're here to try it. Maybe it'll be good. Probably not. You know, maybe not, probably not. Uh, Undertale seems pretty dumb, but uh, this is Undertale. Let me mute this time. I see an immediate problem with this game. It's too loud, but uh, I believe the... Who who made this? Um, the creator of this game, Toby Falco, uh, I believe originally he was intending to make an RPG, but then he decided... Uh, that was a dumb idea and a waste of time and money, and so instead he decided to make a game that's a lot more freaking useful, like, at all, and so he decided to make a game that teaches you how to speak Spanish, uh, and so what you have to do is you have to look at the thing and you, uh, get the th thing that matches the thing, and so... Uh, he decided, so Toby Falco, that was a good move on his part, I will give him that, this is a, I think if it was an RPG, and it was how he originally intended, like, it was supposed to be, the, the whole catch of the thing was, like, you could decide whether or not to, like, uh, kill the monsters or whatever, I thought that would have probably been a pretty useless idea, I think this is a much better, uh, use of his time, and money, and effort, and so, uh, I don't know, I feel like, because it was crowdfunded too, so it probably would have been like a massive ripoff if it actually went out that way. Because uh, we all know RPG stands for really, really p bad game. So, and I died. This game sucks. Uh, so... I don't know. This was like a huge crowdfunded thing. People have been talking all about Undertale, uh, basically not shutting up about it. And so I think that uh, reduces the quality even further of this game because it's already not very good, uh, as you can see. So I don't, I don't know what people are talking about. This game kind of sucks. So you do play as a uh, white male protagonist, as you can see. He's white. Um... And so that's that's pretty stereotypical. Uh, as you, I was pretty impressive. I don't know how I dodged that. Anyway, uh, you know, freaking. As you can see, these are some of the monsters. Uh, originally, Toby Falco intended like originally his idea was to make a game where you could decide whether or not to kill the monsters, but it looks like he just ended up. Um, Making it so that you you just can't kill them at all, and you just die by them. So uh, honestly, I don't I don't know what he was thinking there. That was like the whole reason anyone ever wanted to play this game. Um, but yeah, I'd say the finished product does look a lot better than like the Kickstarter videos or whatever. Was it on Kickstarter? I don't even remember. It's pretty uh, pretty boring. No, a not noteworthy project, so I don't really care. Uh, if you touch the wrong thing, your air goes down because we c currently are in a cave. We're spelunking right now. That's why it's called Undertale, uh, you big dumb idiot. So, uh, yeah. You get the first. Yeah, so uh, this level, I've known. I remember hearing that this level was, there was something weird about it, like how, uh, yeah, yeah, I see it now, if you stand on the platforms, you don't actually move with them, so, yeah, that's probably a little, little glitch there that they gotta report to Valve, the people who made Undertale, um, and now, alright, so, that's gonna have to be it. So obviously I'm going to put it down my name. Someone just sent me gosh darn Skype message. I'm going to have to put down my name here. Uh, freaking. 
Uh, here we go. I'm just too popular, guys. All right. Uh, peace, Matthias Scouts.